Our software allows for Google integration, so you can sync up a specific Google Calendar to your ICL CRM account. How you'll get that done is first by going to the Google Calendar page right there in the left-hand menu. It'll prompt you to sign in to your specific Gmail account. As soon as you do that, you'll be able to select your specific calendar from this drop-down here. If you ever need to disconnect the calendar, you can do so with this option. You can resync the calendar here. And you also have the ability to create an event right here as well. When creating an event, you can also just click into the specific date and fill out the necessary information. You can filter the calendar by month, by week, by date, and by agenda. These buttons right here will take you back to today's date. You can go back to previous dates and forward as you wish. Now let's say you're on the phone with the lean. Let's go into the leads page. Let's say you're on the phone with this lead and they ask you to give them a call back in about an hour. What you'll do is select this blue drop down arrow and click schedule follow up. You'll input the date and any notes as necessary. And here you can add it to your calendar. Just select that specific calendar and specify how many minutes before the scheduled follow-up you would like to be reminded. And just click save. Next, let's go to the account settings page and then navigate to the booking page tab. This is where you can set up a booking page to send out to your leads. And then your leads would be able to go in, look at the booking page and choose an appointment whenever they're available. It's going to first tell you that the booking page is offline. What you'll do is just finish filling out the booking page link at the end here. A lot of people like to use their first and last name, but it's entirely up to you. As soon as you fill that out, the rest of the fields are going to start populating for you to complete your booking page. First here, you can select an image that would populate right here. Great place to put a company logo or perhaps a personal headshot. Next, you'll apply the booking page title. As you can see here in this preview, this is where it'd populate. And then you fill in the necessary booking instructions. Now this option is not required, but you can redirect a lead to a different URL as soon as they confirm an appointment. So let's say I'm a lead and I go in, I book an appointment at noon. As soon as I confirm that appointment, I would be redirected to the website that you input here. Great place to put maybe a Facebook landing page or a company profile. Definitely optional though. Here's where you'd input the appointment duration, how long you would like to set the appointment for. It can be anywhere from five minutes to an hour long. And now you'll set the availability for yourself, how early and how late you would like leads to be able to book an appointment. You can also add additional appointment fields. So this would be required for them to fill out when they're confirming their appointment. Just input perhaps birth date. That way, and you can select that it's a required field so they'd have to fill out their birthday at the time of confirming the appointment. You can certainly as well customize the page appearance. So currently, as you see in this preview, it's going to have a white background with blue time slots. If you ever wanted to change the colorways, you can do so here. Now you'll set your availability. Let's say I only want leads to be able to book an appointment Monday to Friday. I would just select those specific dates then. Let's say though on Wednesday mornings, I like to go to the gym and I won't be available until at least 11 a.m. on Wednesday mornings. I'll just unselect those two boxes so no one would ever be able to book an appointment before 11 a.m. on Wednesdays. General notifications. This is where you can set when someone books an appointment, how you're notified. You can be notified by text message as well as email. You can also send your leads a reminder text shortly before the appointment. You can send them a reminder text up to 60 minutes before their appointment. And then just input the text here. Next, you can also send them a confirmation email as soon as they make an appointment. 
letting them know that their appointment is confirmed. Lastly, you can connect this booking page to your Google Calendar. So you just select to save all new appointments to your calendar and just select the calendar that you would like the appointments to be saved to. Next, you can mark yourself as busy during other calendar events. So let's say on your calendar, you always have a team meeting on Thursday afternoons. As long as that's in the calendar and you've got it selected to mark yourself as busy during certain events with that calendar, then no one would be able to book an appointment with you at those given times. And then you just save your calendar and you're all set.